So I don't know how well you can see this in the camera, but it is pouring down rain with big old huge uh, snowflakes mixed into it. So uh, it's nighttime now, temperatures just drop in. This is probably all going to turn to snow here before too long, and it is going to be one heck of a snowy night. So those of you that know this area know that this is Conklin Road. And this is uh, the exact same road that I just botched that uh, one job on and uh, did the other recovery on in the exact same spot like the week before. This guy looks stuck right here. This is our first recovery before we even get a foot down the road? Could be. Could very well be. How's it going? Good. You need to uh, pull it back up out of here? How much that cost? Nothing. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll pull you right back up here to this parking area. Oh, you probably don't want to go any farther because I'm heading down here to get a van that's stuck in the snow. So, no probably, I'll spin around and just pull you back up here. Okay, thanks. Yep, no problem. So, so he was stuck. Appears we have a guy who uh, was going to pull down here and then decided or it was not a good idea but couldn't back up out of here. So, where am I going? So we'll pull him out real quick and then go get the others. It's oh, I haven't explained what we're going to do yet. Uh, apparently we got a 15 passenger van loaded with people that went out this road and uh, slid off the side and got stuck in the snow. So we gotta go get him pulled out, but we gotta get this guy pulled out first. Oh, and uh, Alex is here. I'm here. Right, I'll just hook onto your uh, receiver here and I'll just pull you back up into that wide spot right there. Okay. You should be good from there. Sounds good. Yeah, I made it down, but all the way to the front, so. Yeah, it should be awesome. I'll go get a receiver shackle and we'll stick in there. All right, you want to go ahead and hop in and uh, just put it in neutral. Don't even worry about reverse. Put it in neutral and then when you see this is about me start going, let off the brake and okay. then I'll just pull you up there. You should be good to go from here, right? I hope so. Okay, we'll get you unhooked to make sure you're going good. Okay. And then uh, we're good to go from there. No problem. Do you have a car for your towing company? I do not. It's just Cascade Heavy Rescue. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, make sure you get going here and then uh, we'll okay. head down to the next one. Oh, I see where it's stuck. Turn this way, turn this way. You can do it. That is a pretty nice van though. That is pretty cool. I've really kind of always wanted a van like that. Look how slushy and wet this is. Yeah. All right, he's back on the highway. So we just throw the yanking rope up here because we're probably going to need it again. I say yes. Okay, so that's one pulled out and uh, now we'll head down and find the other van. Oh, we're still in four low. Very slow. Okay, there they are. So let's go see what we got going on. Wow. Yeah, there's another van. He stopped that first hill off the road. As soon as he started down, he stopped. He didn't want, he realized he didn't want to go down there, but he couldn't back up there. Yeah, so I, spotted him. I think we need to turn around. I go, there's no way we're turning around. We just got a Ford John. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We well, it does get a lot worse. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys up skiing? We did uh, snowmobiles today. Oh, okay. We were going to go down to Bend to go back to Sun River, and mm -hmm. GPS said turn right here. Well, Sun so River is definitely that way, yeah. but you don't want to go that way. 
It sounds like we don't want to go that way on a sunny day either. Casey. You're getting kids named after you. <laughs> How old are you? He's the middle name. No, Casey did. We're going to rename you. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, let's look. So, you yeah. definitely want to go yeah. that way. We'll uh, find the easiest way to get you that way. It might be to just spin the front end around and out right here instead of pulling it up and then trying to figure out how to turn around on top of that. You want everybody out of the car, don't you? Yeah. So, hey, you guys go on this side. Okay. Now the way. I will probably. It's not as cold anymore. So there's nothing back here that's going to hurt it if it pivots right here. So I'm kind of thinking we just, instead of pulling it up and out of the ditch, we just grab the front end and pull it around, point it that way. Because that's the way they got to go anyway. It's We're going to turn it around. Might Why well. pull it out of here and then try to fight to turn it around somewhere else? Might as well just start from there. Correct. So... There is a good tree right there that we could pull it away from there if we have to. So, I'll, uh, I'll spin around. Do you think we're gonna have to snatch block off that tree to get it up away from the bank? Or do you think we're gonna be able to just pivot the front end right around without it backing into the bank right there? I'm thinking you're probably able to just slide it, huh? We'll see. What I, the only concern I have with sliding it is if it backs into that where it's gonna to wanna to just be into that brush. True. But um, we can see. go we'll try it and see so if you watched uh, Matt's off-road recovery video where he tore a bumper on a Dodge Ram right before I did it the side of a Ford it was this scenario right here where cameraman where as back up oh. <laughs> whereas the angle changed it pulled into the bumper like that and he didn't stop pulling to re-rig. So we're gonna start with this and we're gonna stop pulling before it gets to that point and re-rig. Because I learned my lesson, Matt learned his lesson, and I'm also gonna learn from Matt's lesson. You learned your lesson. Okay. Is this a front wheel drive or rear wheel? Rear. Rear? And it's in park right now? Yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna watch the back of that van and make sure it's not gonna um, back into the bank there too bad. Being a rear wheel drive in park, hopefully it pivots off those back wheels and comes forward so. <laughs> that block acts as a wheel shock. There. There it goes. Now it's pivoting on that wheel. Now we go to the other side. Now 
start pulling from the lower. You want to hop in it, hop in it and put it in neutral. Now, and then you're going to turn towards me just a little bit. That way, it starts to pull you forward away from that bank. Towards me, perfect. That'll get him up away from that bank. Okay, brake, and just hold there. I'm gonna pull forward and reset. That way I can pull them the rest of the way around. trying to correct me if I say something that's not the technical correct like if I call this a cable instead of a wire rope I'm like <laughs> I don't care if uh, I called this a cable and you can't figure out what I meant I don't think I'm the issue here <laughs> okay let's wind that in Just gonna load back up and fall out to make sure you make it out, no problem. And then uh, should be good to go from there. I think, I mean, the only, I think, uphill you have is the one at the very end, at the very end up to the top. So you should be totally fine, but okay. yeah, you guys gonna load back up and- Load them up. <laughs> load them up. All right. You uh, need Just in dry is fine. Just, uh, I'd have your traffic control off. And these, where it's got the ruts to stay and try to stay as centered as you can because it's uh, as slushy and nasty as it is, as soon as you hit the side, it just wants to pull you right off into it hard. This truck's way heavier than this, and it was even doing it to this really bad. So okay. just well, take it easy. We'll smash it down really good for us. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Did, did you do a head count? Make sure you got everyone. Are we all We're trying to lose one of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
I won't look back then. Okay. <laughs> I've been talking get... about the mouthy one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll turn off the overheads on the back so we're not blinding them. Alex is right there. He's running down to get the, the cinematic drive-by shot because we still have a ways to go to get out of here. Oh, I see the light. That means he's ready. And, yep, they are moving. If you're like Alex over there and wondering why they're out here, uh, if you're coming down from Mount Bachelor or the, the, the snow parks up there, the snowmobile trails, all that stuff, and trying to get to Sun River, GPS will tell you that this is the fastest way and shortest way into Sun River. Which in the summertime, it technically is. In the wintertime, not so much, but this is, GPS leads a lot of people out, out this road and uh, causes a lot of problems out here, so. Uh, as far as they knew, they were going the right, the right way. Okay, they're still moving. Just making sure. But yeah, if you're not from the area, that's a very, very easy mistake to make because GPS says you can go this way. Why wouldn't you go this way? Oh, they're sliding. Okay, let's hop out. This is ice. Is the traction control fighting you? Yeah, but now it, it, I didn't look at the top now. Okay. Remember when I said I'd leave the rope out just in case? Yep. The problem is, I want to pull from down low, so... Is this acceptable? I call it acceptable. There, so that'll keep it nice and low. Those are all nice big radiuses. If not, uh, Yank of Jason is watching this and he'll send me a, an email telling me I'm doing it wrong because you know he's like the guy who helped design all this stuff and how it's supposed to work so he would know. So now, you're going to be in neutral, neutral with no brakes, and just hold your foot on your foot brake until this rope just about gets tight, okay. then let off, and your wheels are straight right now, you're going to want to keep them there because I'm going to go a little to the high side, and you're going to want to do the same uh, if you can. If you turn too sharp, it's going to cause it to lose traction and want to go downhill because it's all ice. So you want to like subtly try to go to this side that way you don't break that traction um, if this starts to lose traction go sideways like that I'll be watching I I will slam on my brakes and if I slam on my brakes and stop you stop okay. if I don't stop don't hit your brakes because being that we're going downhill and around a corner if you lock up your brakes it's gonna pull you to the inside your tires rolling is what's best gonna keep it right, up neutral. here yep in neutral I'm gonna try to get to the high side so I don't pull them. Let me lock this door. So don't don't be scared. <laughs> I don't want to pull them down into the low side. 
Oh, he's doing a very good job. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect. If you're wondering what a behind the scenes of a Case of the Dell video looks like, it looks like that. This is what I go through to bring you guys these videos. We have two options, because there is more uphill. You can either ride your brakes some to keep this rope tight, and then when we get to that next one, we can just keep going. All right. Or we can unhook, see how far you make it, and hook back up if we have to. Keep that tight. Okay, yeah, I'll get it tight, we'll get rolling, and then you just lightly... If it starts to have a little slack. Slide, yeah, just... just lightly ride your brake to keep that tight, but not where you're dragging me back. And this is a kinetic rope, so it stretches, so... If you get some slack in it and hit the brake and you see it tightening quick, it's not going to jerk and slam you. It'll be smooth. So it's not far, but it goes right back up. So yeah, just keep it tight. yeah and then once we get to the belly where we're starting to climb, just let off and we'll head up and Beauty. we'll just probably see if we just keep going from there all the way out to the, the entrance because we got that big hill at the end. Yeah, Might as well just stay. So, all right. So he's doing a very good job so far. Yeah, he is. I mean, we're, we're 20 feet down the hill, but so far it's 20 good feet. Hey, like it's not like a, a surging back and forth pull either. Like I could feel him just a steady light pull. Like very good. Okay, you see right here. I don't know. It doesn't show that great in the camera, but what? I'm talking. I'm talking to these people. Uh, right here, it, it does go uphill again, pretty good, and it's uh, under the slush is all ice. So uh, this is the part of. He might have made it on his own, but easier just to pull. Here's the, the scene of the crime, where that Ford was, and the little Honda. It was, they had come down this hill, got in that edge, and just got pulled off the side. Well, I gotta say, he did an amazing job at that. Like. The, the amount of like pressure I felt on the truck the whole way down the hill, through the flat at the bottom and up the other side, like never changed. So he did very, very good. We need more customers like that. And less of the ones that when you say a little bit of throttle, just flat foot it. I'm talking about me. <laughs> hey, I, I thought if I floored it, I was like, I got this. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that how you got stuck? No, I got stuck because of... Because you're on a snowmobile trail. Yeah, I was on a snowmobile trail. Yeah. I can... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, it's not like I'm looking in the mirror, listening to like a full panic rev, think I'm going to get rear-ended, and then I see it slam <laughs> on the brakes, and I'm just yank tight on the rope and slam back. Like, none of that, and it's just going great. You know what? <laughs> I, at least I made it to... Crane Prairie, all right? You did not make it to Crane Prairie. You made it to Elk Lake. Elk Lake. Yeah. Listen. Crane Prairie is the lake that you fell into. If you want to keep going down your rabbit hole, <laughs> Crane Prairie is the one you fell through the ice. That was cold. <laughs> yeah, well, it was ice. I was so happy because I was like, I'm going to jump this. <laughs> I'm so going to put a clip of that in right here yeah. with the music and everything. <laughs> it's all cinematic. Quite a few miles later now and this is the final hill climb back to the main road it's not like a hill climb it's just it's a hill and it's icy so hill climb, hill climb. but going good 
like going very good. So I'm gonna pull him right here into the middle and uh, stop right here. That way he's got a good run out of here. Okay, you got it in park? Perfect, let me get it unhooked here. Never trust GPS again. What's that? Never trust GPS again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're not the only one that gets no, no, out the here. The sad thing is, they said turn here. I said I'm not going down that road. We walk down farther to the next little hotel. They all convinced me to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> so, so why, are, why aren't they walking? Yeah. They all, all of them should have been able to push together and get you out of there. They tried. <laughs> well, mission complete. We're not on the highway yet. This is Never true. say it's done till it's done. <laughs> yeah. We still got the snow bank right there from the plow to go over to get onto the highway. So I'm going to pull off to the side, that way you have a straight runway. Nothing. Pick uh, your favorite charity and make a donation to that. Yeah, you don't owe me a thing. Yeah. No, thank the people in that camera right there, because the people watching thank this video you. is what I paid for this. Yeah, that's what paid for this so all right i'll back over here and then that way you can get a run we make sure you get out just fine no problem All right, that's when you turn back and give a thumbs up. No, not yet. Give a... It's like the gladiators. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We did it, Alex. We did it. So, a lot of people ask me why I don't charge. Because they're a kind, tender soul. That's definitely not it. <laughs> uh, right there. There was a family out for a day of fun on vacation, went snowmobiling, had a great, great day. They had a blast, right? Well, then something like this happens. Easy mistake to make. I've done it. Everybody's done it. And getting some big, huge tow bill at the end of a super awesome day like that would completely cancel out that great day you had and just end it on a terrible note. So to be able to, how do you say, keep them that happy, good day is totally worth it. So that's why I don't charge people when they're in this sort of situation. They're out having fun, having a great day, had a blast. I don't want that day to get ruined and end with some big huge bill that just completely kills all the fun for them. So that's why I don't charge people. Makes sense. Uh, I still think that makes you a kind person. Whatever. <laughs> okay. We are back. So I forgot my block of wood. So the reason for this wood is as I was pivoting the van around this back tire was sliding backwards into this and I didn't want to push into all this. So by putting this behind it, it stopped this tire from sliding back and then made that one start sliding forward and kept the back of the van out of all this. And then I left it here. So that's what this was for. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for allowing me to do what I do because I absolutely love it and you guys make it possible. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you, Alex, for coming along and filming. We'll see you on the next one. See you on the next one.